all right we got interesting tutorial this time and today we'll be deploying sql server management studio inside a windows virtual machine previously you might have uh, followed my tutorial where we have deployed ssms on linux where we have fired tons of command but here it's just a click of a button let's um, dive into the portal and in this tutorial we'll also be connecting the ssms from our local windows machine that is which is outside the cloud um, th that technique will be also see and also will rdp into the virtual machine and connect sql server to verify the tables created from the on premises so let's dive into the portal so i have here the into the portal i'll type azure sql let's click here azure sql now i'll click on create azure sql resource since we are going to use or install the SSMS on virtual machine it will be SQL virtual machines. There are other flavors available SQL MI uh, that is meant for uh, the lift and shift migrations type. Uh, for this tutorial, uh, we are good for this that is the SQL virtual machine. I'll select the free one that is SQL Server License 2022 and click on here the create button. Now let's select the resource group where we want to uh, create. Let's give the virtual machine name next we'll select the geographical region so we want uh, the uh, our uh, virtual machine to reside inside uh, east us region so we'll select it then we have the lvt zones options here available so uh, we don't want any kind of high ability here because this is kind of dummy tutorial so we won't uh, go for lvt set and all so i'll go with no infrastructure redundancy required if you are doing into the production workload, you might need to go with ability set and VM uh, scale set these things, right? Let's go with no infrastructure for this one to save some cost. Now um, we have the security feature. Uh, if you want to elevate the security, we can go to confidential and these things. I uh, will go with the standard because uh, we'll be anyway creating some dummy tables here because this is a kind of a development environment. I'll go to standard and image is by default what we have selected in previous tip that is the free one this looks good we'll go down here uh, now let's select the size let's click on all the sizes now here i'll be selecting the least one to just showcase uh, b2s is fine b1s is still smaller but uh, b2s for this tutorial it looks good i'll select this and click on select it will take some time to load these things uh, looks good now let's create the username and password which will be used uh, which will be using to log in to the uh, ssms from rdp as well as our um, um, the ss uh, ssms from on premises let's give a username and password all right so this looks good please remember and keep it safe username and password because we'll be requiring it in short while next uh, we got to configure the inbound ports for us uh, the inbound port will be rdp port that is 3389 because we'll be going to RDP into the virtual machine uh, later, right? So please keep this in mind. There are many options. We don't need SSH and all. For this tutorial, 3389 is good because opening more ports uh, will lead to security problems. The lesser port uh, you open, uh, what you need is the best fit for any project. I'll go down. I don't have licensing. I'll go to the desk. Um, here, I'll select uh, the least cost. Premium is a little bit costly. I'll go with the um, standard one. Uh, this also uh, this will save some cost, but for our tutorial, standard SSD is fine. Um, looks Everything looks good to me. Delete with the VM. The disk will be deleted so that we don't incur any additional cost after the VM is uh, deleted, right? So please make sure to check mark this button. Now let's go to the networking tab. And uh, here as usual, um, the networking um, we we won't be selecting much because uh, this is not a networking tutorial i'll keep everything as a default setting inbound port will be just the previous step what we have configured that is 3389 let's go to the management it is uh, it is again uh, the something uh, same right uh, just uh, let's uh, go directly to the sql server settings so this is what we want and here please make sure sql connectivity should be public internet because i'll be connecting with my local computer as well right so public internet looks good if i were to connect to just using the azure network i'll use private 
and if i want just uh, to connect with my uh, if i want to rdp and then uh, um, connect the ssms i'll select this for this tutorial since i'll be doing both connecting inside the rdp uh, connecting the ssms using um, the virtual machine uh, opening the virtual machine from rdp as well as well as my public that is on premises sql server management studio i'll use public internet it will it provides a wider range of uh, connectivity so the for the port um, we can use the default port as well but it is easily guessable because this is um, we can also con make um, our um, give some custom port which uh, people uh, generally don't use we can use anything 2 3 14 0 2 uh, anything right let's enable uh, authentication sql um, authentication we want and the password uh, by default remember in previous step and the login username and password this this will be used to log into our ssms so i'll be using the same thing which i have provided in the previous step right cloud guru amit is my login name and password what i have configured looks good and then uh, we have uh, the storage option this also looks good um now let's go to um directly to um, review and create though there are tons of um, other information sql server license we don't have right that's why it's no so we can save much cost but for this tutorial let's go ahead and click on review and create all right the validation passed let's go to click create button i've clicked it let's wait for a while it takes around uh, five to ten minutes because there are tons of activities which which will be seeing in action which will be uh, going behind the scenes right because the virtual machine will be deployed then the ssms um, um, will be uh, like there in the virtual machine so you got to remember that there are tons of steps if you look which are going behind the scenes so it it will take five to ten minutes time let's wait for a while all right our deployment got completed let's go to the resource now and here under the overview bleed we have the public ip address we need this because we need to connect to our sql server management studio using this public ip address let's copy this and i have opened sql server management studio now from my uh, local computer let's paste the public ip address here comma the port number remember when we have created the virtual machine the port number was 1401 we got to write the exact port number as well. so i have provided the login id now let's provide the password so after we are done with providing the password please make sure to check mark this button check mark this trust server certificate because if you don't do even though your connection will be set completed but you won't be able to connect right please make sure this button is very important right let's click on connect and here we go we have successfully connected from my on premises sql server management studio to our um, sql server management uh, ssms um, like which is in the azure virtual machine i'll click on new query here um, currently if i want to show you the databases currently there won't be any databases because this is just a fresh machine there will be the master by default let's click on database we got the system database and snapshot right so let's quickly go ahead and create one database let's um, click database named cloud guru amit let's um, click it i'll name it uh, maybe uh, cloud guru amit db for database right because me by default the server name is uh, uh, login name is that's uh, the same uh, just to differentiate let's click on execute so it says successfully completed right let me refresh uh, this button now the cloud guru amit db should technically appear here because just now we have created this database using the create database sql query let me open the database tab here now if i see my new database is now listed that being said this is successful i'll click on here i'll click my new database click on new query and please make sure now we will fire the commands under the cloud guru amit db which you can see here as well as well as you can see uh, here and this got my public ip address right um let let's uh, fire the command uh, create some uh, table i'll create one table named employee which has got primary key employee id and some other uh, columns as well so let's um, quickly create um, one table 
after we are done uh, creating the table let's uh, go ahead by uh, inserting some values dummy values into the table i'll just um, copy paste the insert command here let me remove this i'll paste it execute 10 rows affected now let's um, now check the data in the table how do we do it uh, i'll just uh, simply open my database i'll uh, go to the tables i've just created the employee table remember here it should uh, list let's wait for a while till this is expanding yeah i got a dpo.employee i can write select star from uh, dpo.employee uh, otherwise i can uh, do the uh, right click and uh, uh, select top thousand rows though it has just 10 rows this command will work anyway i'll just do it and uh, let's wait for a while yeah we got the 10 values which we have inserted um, from my query which was this query right so this looks good our um, um, sql server management studio from on premises uh, we are able to connect to the uh, public ip address of our virtual machine and uh, we, we we have fired some uh, command we have created database and created one table now let's verify whether these tables are there from the rdp right so what we'll do will go uh, to our virtual machine if you can see cloud guru amit vm this is the virtual machine here i got here the connect um, button as well as well as we got the connect let's go to connect here and we'll click on connect and here if you look remember we have opened the port 3389 the rdp port i will rdp into the machine now let's download the rdp file let's click on keep let's open the file let's click on connect so here we got to provide the password the sql one which we have just provided in the ssms as well right um while connecting um the uh, same uh, user id uh, user login and password just like uh, this one which we have done and this is the ip address public ip address you remember and this is the login id and we have provided password this is the same thing which we are doing using the rdp now so let's provide the password and click on okay so um, i will click on yes the certificate uh, once so if you look in the top this we are rdping this is not my now local computer this is on the cloud so uh, this is uh, uh, since from the virtual machine we have uh, configured the sql server installation part it should be technically installed in, inside this uh, virtual machine without us to uh, fire any kind of uh, command just like we did in the um, linux uh, 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 sql server installation right we have fired tons of command there and here it's very simple it will take some time because this is the first time i'll click on yes doesn't matter anyway so uh, it will take some time because this is the first time i'm opening my sql virtual machine which has got the sql server management studio that is ssms let's wait for a while till this uh, default things show up i'll quickly click on close i'll click on close i don't need this now the important part is that ssms should be installed let's click on search and type ssms so we are uh, yeah we can see the sql server management studio is installed here let's click on uh, here remember this is the virtual machine we have logged in this is not my local computer let's open we have uh, fired tons of uh, command uh, like created database tables right we got to verify whether it is there in the sql server management studio on the cloud as well right let's check it this will take some time to load it seems all right finally it seems my sql server um, got loaded up in the cloud now remember this time the authentication will be using the windows authentication and the server name will be your uh, your virtual machine name what we have given remember we have given the virtual name as uh in the suffix i provided vm that's why it has taken the vm right and here in the username by default if you check our sql server username is uh grayed out it's already by default it's there cloud guru amit right so server name will be your vm name um, and uh, it will be windows authentication let's click on trust this certificate again let's click on connect all right i got connected to my um 
SSMS on the cloud. Now let's check the databases which we have created from on-premises here. Yeah? The Cloud Guru Amit DB is also there, which we have created from on-premises. Now let's check the table, the employee table, right? Which we have created on-premises. Let's click on the tables. Yeah, we got the employee table. Now let's check the values, whether they are there or not. I'll right click, click on select top thousand rows, though it has 10 rows, I know. Let's check and verify whether the values are there or not. Yeah, we got the values, same values, right? On-premises as, well as well as in the cloud. So that being said, we have successfully um, spinned up a virtual machine containing SQL um, yes, Server Management Studio SSMS on the cloud and the data is there as well, uh, in on on-premises what we have done. Uh, we, it's reflected on the cloud. If you see this is the uh, jump box or the uh, what we call jump box or the bash uh, like the RDP what we know. The same uh, values, the same tables, everything is there, everything. It got instantly um, the, all the values. If you want to check this is my local computer it, it will have the public ip address here right so that being said this um, um, concludes the tutorial i'll just give you a um, refresher what we have done so here me uh, we have created um, is azure sql virtual machine from the scratch where uh, sql server management studio we have uh, configured for the installation part and after um, configuring uh, the desk, um, the size of the virtual machine um, um, and the uh, everything, uh, the connectivity part. Um, we have uh, used the public IP or, uh, address of Azure SQL virtual machine to connect from our on-premises SQL Server Management Studio where we have created some um, database named Cloud Guru Amit DB and table named employee um, and inserted some values into the employee table. Um, the same thing we have verified by using the RDP, RDP into the virtual machine that is 3389 port. Using 3389 port, we have RDP'd successfully got into our virtual machine, Azure SQL virtual machine, then opened SSMS there and verified the data that is the database uh, name, Cloud Guru Amit DB and employee table and the values. Everything is there as well. So that being said, this concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, please consider checking out my exclusive management cybersecurity Google Cloud courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit or you can navigate to the URL udemy.com slash user slash Cloud Guru Amit where you will find tons of courses which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager, their thought processes and how a project works in an IT world. So thank you so much for watching this video.